uh, guys uh, good evening uh, today we are going to discuss the fourth assignment that i have given to you so already uh, first second and third uh, assignments have been uh, shared to you and it is also uh, uploaded in my uh, youtube channel okay so you guys can check that second and uh, first second and third so let's uh, show that again to you to be good okay So if you check, if you check here, then uh, this is uh, my third assignment and first and second is being uploaded actually now currently. I'm just uploading them in progress. So first second is uploading and third is uploaded. And if you you we'll go through, go from the top to bottom, and you will get my YouTube videos. Okay, I have made the small, small videos for you guys. So please refer as much as possible. Okay, it will be good for you. And also, here uh, I am going to show you the fourth assignment. In this, in the fourth assignment. Uh, this is on the fourth assignment. Let's go. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's a difficult one. It will take around one hour to discuss all the things. Suppose a file contain one thousand lines. I want to break the files into small files, and each file will contain two fifty lines. Write a command to achieve it. So it's kind of like uh, I am telling here. I am emphasizing the emphasizing the lines here. So suppose you have the file. Let's say this file file booking the data itself. So before disturbing this file, I want to copy. I I want to create one directory and KDL. Let's say data cp that uh, flight to data directory will data cat flight i am taking telling you 1000 lines so some somebody will um, say upgrade up by seeing 1000 lines but it's not a problem because here i am writing that um, divide the file into such a that each file will contain one to uh, two bit lines. So here you can just change that question for the next question. So SP SP LIT split is a command minus L elements line, okay. So let's say four or three, then it will create uh, four files because each file will contain three lines. It will check down. It will uh, create three as said four files because one file will contain three, another file will contain another three, another file will contain another three line. Then last file will contain only one line. How to check? WC minus L X star. See. It is a telling XA content three lines, then XA we content three lines, XAC content three lines. Then one line will be there, so it is, a, it is going to the X85. Normally, when, the, when we will use the split command, it will create multiple files in the name of X, uh, in the initial XA, X, especially X. So XA, X, A, X, A, B, X, A, C, X, A, B kind of thing. So, uh, I am now able to splitting this particular file into 
uh, multiple file, but each file contains um, three lines. Okay. Then, uh, what is the purpose of uh, MD5 solver command? Let's play another example. Okay. Let's check whether this is completed or not. Yeah, still in progress. So what is the purpose of MD5 command explain what is happening? As I told, MD5 command is, so can I remove this uh, split files? Yes, RL text. It is removed, uh, it removed all the files. Now, flight book in the text. This is file, right? So MD5 sum is used to basically create a checksum file, checksum data. So it will create one checksum data, it will, or it will create, or it will generate one, uh, and check some data. So what is the check some data? It's a number. It's a alphanumeric uh, number, uh, which will be calculated on the top of data of a file. Suppose this data is data are like this, and I want to apply that MD5 sum, MD5 sum, and try to think. And it is creating one 32 bit number and a 32 bit alphanumeric uh, string. Uh, which will help you uh, in a way like suppose somebody will change this data uh, in future. We are at line I'm just changing this data in the in, in place of colon. I'm putting it. The data has been changed. As the data has been changed, it will generate another number. It will not have the same number. You see, you have just changed the single character, but it is changing the whole number. So where it is actually applicable or what it may be, suppose you are sending a, this file to your friend or to your colleague or to any, anybody, then uh, you just, uh, before sending, you just uh, check the checksum number, write it some, uh, somewhere, then send that file to that uh, your friend or colleague, then ask him to run this particular command again. So he will run that command, and he will have also get a number like this. So you just tell whether your number and that number is same or not. If it is same, then the file uh, reached safely. If it's not same, then there is, there is a dumping happened inside the file. You can check, okay? So basically, this number is helping you to check whether the file reached at your end properly or not. Okay? And what is the difference between uh, Sublink and hard link uh, with the uh, best use case of uh, each. Okay, I have already discussed several times what is the difference between sublink and hard link. So, here I don't want to tell it again, but I have uh, to recall that I can tell that this way sublink is a synonym of file. Uh, sorry, sublink in a sub, uh, it's kind of shortcut of the file. Uh, and the hard link is a synonym of the file. Once you are creating any sublink, then the, there is no uh, change in the link like ls minus ltr output. You are getting uh, just go to the previous link. Yeah. So here you are getting ls minus ltr. The I know number is not showing, right? Uh, I'll tell you that I know number, but now this line is called link. Any file your folder is creating, then this is link bit. Uh, so I am creating a sublink, and this link is not going to be included, but in the hard link, and the link will be included. This is one, then next it will be two, next it will be three, once the hard link will be created. But in case of sublink, the I know number will be different uh, because the new file will be created uh, with the shortcut name, but uh, the um, uh, in, in plus of uh, hard link, and I know number of hard link file and the main file will be same. And uh, here the size will be look like same, like uh, the size of hard link uh, file and the main file will be same and the size of uh, sublink uh, uh, will be different than the uh, main file. And that sublink, uh, uh, sublink size will be the number of characters present in the name of the original file. So whatever characters present, let's say this, I am creating one sublink for this, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight characters are there. Whatever sublink will be created for this, that size will be eight character, eight bytes. Okay, this way. And I have also told once the main file will be removed, then the sublink will not uh, work. But the 
uh, after removing the man file also the hard link is going to work because it's a uh, as i told it's a synonym so if the man is not there now then uh, you can access that in the other in the other name but they both will be uh, they both will uh, tag at the same point in the same physical location okay so basically this hard link is used to is for backup purpose without having if it is a single machine then you can take a synchronous backup kind of uh, thing like uh, here we are changing the data then uh, the same data will be created uh, somewhere uh, parallel if you are removing by chance or any by mistake or any human error that main file is removed then that particular hard link from the hard link you can recover the data right? so these are the differences between hard link and soft link let's go to the next uh, how to zip a directory which contains five subdirectory and uh, seven files? Let's say one directory called uh, a t a right. So a has uh, some directory and some files are there also. Let's say t o u c h. Let's say a slash uh, t one dot t s t and dot t t two dot t s t like this. I have a file called. Silently, I want to zip it. So, before, so normally uh, we can zip in the Linux using the gz command gzip gzip, then it is not allowing to zip. So, before this, you have to tar it. T you have to package it tar minus cvf. Uh, you can put a z also uh, or directly cvf, then uh, a dot tar, then a. It is creating a tar file, then you can make it zip. So G data is a dot tar. Okay. This is one method, or else you can do like this uh, tar minus CB J a dot tar dot gz. So it is also creating a zip file directly. This is one method. Okay. Right. So here I have told what uh, how to zip a directory which contains five subject and five seven files. And how is uh, what is the difference between cp command and mv command and add links with respect to i know number? So uh, in cp command, so as I told i know number, right? Let's do that. Let's say shipping that file, let's say c onetxt c onetxt 2 d onetxt and to do one handling like ln or c onetxt then e onetxt okay. Remember e onetxt is a handling. So I can do ls minus ltr i c1 txt d1 txt then e1 txt. Now see, uh, in case of cp, I have done the cp for the one, right? So here, the i known number is different than the main file. But the i known number of uh, hard link and the main file is same. Suppose I am doing a mv to c1, mv c1 txt. Again, uh, I have renamed that by the MB code. I have renamed that. So, again, the same iron number will be uh, there for the D1. So, in place of C1, now it will be D1. Okay. The iron number of uh, after removing the after sorry, renaming the main file into the next file. That uh, I know number of the main file will be uh, allocated. Okay, that's why uh, in case of uh, MV and uh, uh, hard link, the I know number will not change. In case of soft link, in case of soft link or any CP command, the I know number will be changed. Write a command which will display the number of uh, words present in each line of a file. Okay, each line of file, yeah, it's a very good question. See, if 
at the flag test. Let's do one thing. We are uh, okay. Let's do that. So here the this is this line contains two words, this line contains some words like this, right? So I want to display the lines, number of words present in each line. Okay. So what to do? There is a command called right? Simply PR and dollar zero will show you all the records. Um, what is happening? The curly base will not run this. How to port each other curly base. Right. Equal port. And if then it is going to count all. So this line contains two words, this line contains seven words, this line contains five words, this line contains six words. Got it? Yes. I have a, I have a, a very big file contains five fifty thousand rows. What is the command to display those lines? Line which contains at least four words. Okay. So here you can see two lines. This line coming two lines. This line two lines. So I will tell. And display the records which will contain at, at least six lines or seven lines. So, six or seven, okay. Some other five, at least five uh, words I'm asking. So, what to do? So, five words, guys, okay. To, I have told you uh, here, regular express will be there, like. Uh, you can use grep command, right? G R E P. Five words, okay? or more than five words. So grep, as I told, for a single character, dot is there, right? Dot is present. You don't know how many times, right? One to ten, let's say one to fifty. A word may be fifty character, so dot means any character is repeated from one to fifty times in order to put a sense. It is going to sell, sell a single word, then space, then like this dot slash. Same thing, you look at space, including this. Two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, five. Right. Okay. This is showing the lines which contains minimum. Yeah. Dot is for any character, right? So it is showing all the things. So here is a space. This is one word, another three, four, five. So why it is showing all? Yeah, okay. Five times, right? So, but this is also. Change. You can tell like uh, okay, space it is counting space also. So I don't want to count space. That's why uh, here I can put a to j a to j zero to nine. Same way you can do a to j a to j zero to nine. Got it. Mm. A to J, A to J, zero to nine.
Okay. So these are the con these are continued five words at least. Five times you have five, six times you will add six. This is showing five. But you can make it small also, it is um, very high. So just mark it here. This and space is repeating four times, then the last one is coming. So you can cut down from here. Um, including that first uh, stanza and space, we just make a group. And if I get a group of uh, this one, this is the escape sequence character, you have to give a slot here. Then four time picks right? four classes here. Okay, sorry. Here you have here no space. Right. So either you give it this way or give it like that. I have told you several times, please go through the original expression class so that you can understand this. Then I have a very big file containing 5000. This is the right? And I have a file contains following data. Following data. So this is a very good question, guys. I one of you uh, activities. Yeah, let's say the file name is test to one at least. That just like guys, here the moral is like that. Yeah, let's remove the space also. In Linux, in Oracle, it's called group by kind of thing, like uh, one of person engineer, another person doctor, uh, teacher. So here I want to display how many doctors are there, how many teachers are there, how many engineers are there. So how to do the first category, you should do a category. Right? So it will output like teacher to doctor. How? Do this. Here you can do like, Only uh, do a sort first, sort minus, or else do a cot, cot minus d, comma, minus f2, right? So what's it doing? Let's do a sort on that for you. Any unique minus c? Okay, but my output should be like this, right? Doctor colon two, engineer colon and teacher. How do that? Somebody may tell that they, you know, they will not work here. It is telling, but uh, it is spelling like this. What to do? Little bit trick you have to apply. Here is like, just see in this output, can we apply uh, a WK? Yes, a WK. Then print. Hmm. Alt alert two. Then dollar one. In between colon. So if you want a colon in between, then either put a then double quote colon or comma. This way or else put a comma here and declare a begin statement B G I N. Here you need to put OFS right because output OFS is equal to 
system of the right? Next. How to replace a word Priya with a Riya from 10th line to 20th line of a file? So I have this file, cat. Right. Retailing, like uh, in this uh, data, lot of place believe there, right? Telling to change the Priya with Riya from 10 to 20. I can do to change Delhi with the Chandigarh or Punjab, Delhi with Punjab, Delhi with the, you can tell Delhi with the cities, Katak, Delhi with Katak from line number third to uh, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, third to seven line. Within third to seven, if Del Delhi is there, then that, is, that Delhi is going to be replaced by Katak. Ready? Hmm. S slash Delhi slash Qatar slash G. Then here you would have put three to seven. Three comma seven. Let's see. How do you manage it? We're checking all the then it will cut up between the three to seven lines. Guys, I have discussed many times, right? So, how to remove all blank lines from a file? How to remove all the blank lines? So, let's do that. Let's say we are here at the word of this. Let's see here, one blank line there, then one blank line there, another blank line. So, I want to remove all the blank lines. It's not squeezing. If not key, I will remove all the consecutive spaces into single space. I will just remove all the lines. So, what to do? If we will put a cat minus t and d1 dot txt, you see uh, the line which contains black line, that dollar is coming in the uh, first place. That means cap and dollar are consecutive here. Cap is the first character. Like the last of cap and the last jump a mil jata. That means first character and the last character jump a mil jata. That is a blank line. So we want to avoid that, right? So you, if you want to print that, no problem. GREP, GREP, uh, cap, dollar, then file D1. It will display you know, uh, blank line, but I don't want to display blank line. Is here minus B. Showing you by removing this is not a black line, here something is there. Got it? All right. There is a command for say acid. You can put acid also. But acid per here for minus n, you have to put and you have to give a slash here and here. Then field it will also show you the black line. If you don't want then put a D here. It will remove. And for D, no minus N is equal. Okay. So what are this command is telling? Graph is also doing the same. Then, how to remove a word from a file using a CD command? So I have lots of words. Okay. That, that's a D1. So, for example, I want to remove uh, this 17. How to do that? That's really. I can replace 17 with nothing. S slash 17 plus G. Compile them. 17 not there, right? 16, 17, 17 deletion. I just replaced the 7 with nothing, so 7, 7 with nothing, that's why 7 is removed. Another option is there, cat. Hmm. Uh, let's say file D1, then in that file, you put a D at minus D, 7. Let's remove that 7, but it's a problem. We will be removing one and seven individually, so don't do that. Always use this method. Okay. 
write a command to replace the word uh, light with L-I-G-H-T from 100 line to last line. So the command I can write, but I don't have, I don't have that type of uh, data, but I can check in the in my uh, that file. So all the light will be uh, changed by L-I-G-H-T from 100th line to last line. So first, uh, I told you that uh, I applied working code. In this I can do like SCV, 100 line to last line, 100 comma last line, the last. Then replace S slash. So to whom replace, suppose I want to replace Delhi to cut up. It is going to remove only from uh, 100 line I have not run, right? I can remove from, let's say, sixth line to so this is sixth line six seven eight nine six seven eight nine ten so remaining top lines will not be removed, not be replaced only six to last line to remove. let's see only it is replacing the sixth line to our uh, last line uh, with the word daily to cut up okay. then write a command to print the file names in a directory that has the word July. Okay. Command to print the file names in a directory. Let's say I have uh, uh, one file it called July. Uh, I will add something. Okay. Let's say July. I have these much files. I want to see the files which contains J U L Y in the file name. So ls ls star j l y means in between July and the left side anything right side anything so this is changing but actually this question is a confusing question write a command to print the file names in order to that has okay file names right print the file names in a directory that has contents yeah again you can't tell it's a um, it is a not it is a uh, uh, right question, but it is a confusing question. I can tell. So some people may think this way. Some people may think like suppose a file contain uh, word like July. No, inside right. Let's say uh, right. Like Delhi, Delhi they were right. So I want to display the line which, which contain Delhi. So grape Delhi. Very very simple question. Then file name is right. Got it right. So then write a command to print the lines which contains the word apple appears at the end of line. Yeah, like this. Suppose uh, see cat like uh, flight booking. So that is a word. Let's say I, I want to display the line which contains uh, 320 at the last of the line. So vi let's say flight booking. I want to do here. I want to write. 3.320. Then here I want to write 3.20. So let's see. I want to. I can grab like that flight booking. The 3.20 is everywhere, right? So I want which line content 3.20 at last. Let's grab J L. We'll put 3.20. Okay, going to display all the lines which contain 3.20. But here I my question like which is containing the theorem at last. So if you will put a cat et, cat et, cat et, cat minus et, then flight. See here three hundred. So here three twenty written. 
here also 3 don't digit 10, here also 3 don't digit. So in this 320, it is like the this, in the, it is negative. But here 320 is with a dollar. So you can put this same thing like grape 320 dollar. Or somebody is wanting the 320 is after the beginning. So for beginning like this, dollar is not there. So at the, at the before the 320, there is a cap symbol. So this is that. Suppose somebody is wanting the line is contains some character in between 320. 320 is in between. So how to do that? It's really not that much difficult. People will make it difficult. So in the beginning, something should be there. And the end so here you will put star dot then dot star. Okay. It has to tell everything, right? So I don't want to remove, I don't want to see. Okay, first do one thing. This is one. And I, if I remove this line and remove this line, then it will be easy, right? So what to do? There must be G R A P minus B, hmm, three twenty dollar. Remove this again. G R A P hmm, must be cap three twenty. Those which are removed, those which are containing 320 at the beginning, this will remove that. And, and this will remove that. Then the menu will be removed. Okay. okay. Then, how to print? How to print three lines before and three lines after of matching one in a file? That's a VIA one dot list I'm writing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, S, I, J. Again, A, F, G. Okay. I want the, the that, let's say one at least. I want the line which contain A and two lines before that line A, then two lines after that line. So, grab. Not get a GREP. Hmm. First single code like uh, A minus A two minus B two. Okay. So one A before this A two lines after this A, but before this A. There are no other lines. It was the last, it was the first line only. That's why no before line only there, but the after line are there, right? So, guys, this is the uh, end of this uh, fourth assignment. So, hopefully, you guys uh, will practice much more according to my questions and answers. Then, go through my all of the video that I have given you. Also, I have taught very uh, precisely and very comprehensively. So you guys have understood properly and uh, also I have discussed around 60 questions in uh, last four assignments. So please uh, guys follow uh, my YouTube channel for all these things. So this is also um, uploaded. Right. Let's, uh, this is also uploaded. You can check here. I just uploaded here. Yeah. Is assignment one, is assignment three, uh, one and two. Okay, this is this is this is it. assignment one and two. This is assignment two. Then I am going to upload another one. Okay, I'll upload it. Okay. So once you are upload, please guys, uh, without delay, just check here. Everything will get okay. If I do a refresh. And then you are getting, you are going to get all the um, videos here. Okay. Assignment, uh, there is 16, 1 and 2, so 3 is there. 
and I'm going to upload the fourth one today. Right. Bye, guys. So please go to the all the videos for your reference.